So it, it, it was all a mystery um, set in motion by the, by the feminine principle herself. Paul knows this. That's why he commands the woman to be silent, knowing full well that those whom the Divine Mother, who is the Holy Spirit herself, inspires, will understand that Paul is not saying, I command the female to be silent. I command the woman to be silent. And what is the mystery? Well, Paul says, look, when I speak of Adam and Eve, I mean Christ and the church. Christ is that spirit that dwells in every person, whether they are male or female, who knows that in the spiritual order of things, they are the, the perfect man. And the woman, Paul said, is the church. And the church is ruled by rabbis, imams, pastors, every, you know, all uh, Rome who does not allow women to enter into ordination. All of these religious traditions that keep females out of the pulpit because they are interpreting the scriptures according to their lower meaning rather than their higher meaning. But we had to be brought to these understandings so that Paul said there has to be heresies among us so that those who are uh, chosen may be manifest. So this is God's way of now dividing the children of light, the children of true wisdom, which are made up of all males and females, of all religious traditions, of every race of humankind who have transcended the lower interpretations of reality. And we see that uh, not only is a female equal to any male in the spirit of Christ, and she may teach at any time she wishes because she's the man in the spiritual order of things, but from the Jewish or lunar side of the tree of life is coming the anointed ones, and it's not a male person, but to sit, sitting on the throne of David will be a female and a male joined together in perfect harmony, in perfect balance, and through the light of their relationship and throughout all times whoever is sitting on the throne of David no matter what race or what ancient religious tradition they have come through will always reflect the balance that God created in the universe a balance that was broken throughout the course of the age of wickedness and which is now being restored